Number one, reduce plastic use. A lot of people know not to use these single use plastic bottles and plastic straws and replace them with these reusable items you can use over and over again, like reusable water bottles and reusable straws. But a lot of people don't know about toothbrushes. About one billion plastic toothbrushes get wasted in the US every year. There's a better alternative. Bamboo toothbrushes with charcoal bristles. They're good for the environment, biodegradable, and compostable. I got mine from Zero Waste Cartel. And for every box you buy, they plant a tree. Number two, recycle cell phones. Less than 20% of unwanted cell phones get recycled each year. You should recycle old cell phones because gorillas and bonobos' habitats are being destroyed so they can get the minerals to make them. Okay, I gotta go, I'm filming a video. You can drop cell phones at places such as Best Buy, Walmart, Home Depot, and Kroger. You can also drop them at Eco ATMs where you get money in return. Number three, start a compost. You can turn your food waste into rich soil for your garden. Let's go dump my latest batch now. In here, I have coffee grinds, eggshells, cabbage, and lint from my laundry. One day, this will be nice, rich soil. Number four, plant a tree. With all that rich soil, plant a tree. When the tree grows strong and healthy, it will breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen so we can breathe it in. Here's the tree we planted last year. Number five, reduce power usage. Reduce power consumption. If you have things such as this that you don't need to have plugged in at home, unplug them. That's a lot of electricity being saved. Number six, eat less meat. I became a vegetarian last year because I wanted to help the environment. By eating less meat, you are not only not eating animals, but it takes space to raise the cattle, which causes deforestation, and the cows let off farts and burps into the atmosphere, which is not good for it. You can become a vegetarian too, but if you still like meat, you can just limit your meat consumption. That's great too. Every little bit counts. Number seven, reduce palm oil usage. Palm oil leads to deforestation of the rainforest, and the rainforest is vital to animals who inhabit it. 50% of grocery store items contain palm oil, including one of my favorite items, bread. But thank goodness Dave's killer bread is there. It's my favorite palm oil free bread. Lots of soaps and shampoos have palm oil as well, but Ethnique's got you covered. They're palm oil free and they're even Orangutan Alliance certified. Number eight, don't drive challenge. Instead of driving places, you can walk, scoot, or bike. Whatever works for you. Driving less means down goes pollution and up goes exercise. Remember, you can do all of these things any day of the year, not just Earth Day. Of course, Earth Day is a great day to get into the routine and get it, everything started, but you can do this every day of the year. I hope you enjoyed and have a happy and safe Earth Day. Bonus! Like, subscribe, and follow Kid Conservationist today for more fun educational videos. What have you done for our environment today?